So you'll notice something a little bit different about the engine. There's a green thing sticking out of it. Well, actually, for one, there's no intake manifold. The intake manifold's over there. But aside from that, this is a fuel injector, an electronic fuel injector even. And this is the fuel rail. But I was a little afraid that um, these injectors wouldn't fit because they're actually uh, 65 inches, or Jesus, 65 millimeters, opposed to um, somebody said 60 millimeters was optimal. So I was a little afraid that the extra 5 millimeters would be a problem, but it's not. Um, well, this isn't a completely scientific test because the um, intake manifold isn't on. Um, we still have a little room right here. And this is actually kind of concerning. It hits there, um, which is a little odd, but I don't want to wiggle it too much because the injector's in. But this is just a test. The spacers, actually, these are the spacers. Um, they are 24 millimeters, and I got them from um, 038 Motorsports. Um, they're not screwed in all the way because um, I don't have a screwdriver long enough or, or the tip isn't wide enough to go across that, so I have them screwed in all the way. Um, but the injector is in. I used a little WD-40 on the, um, on the uh, gaskets to just slide it in. It popped right in. It was great. Um, they fit in. It's nice and sturdy. It fits great. It's going it's, it's to be great. Um, and then the intake manifold's over here. And the reason why I took this off is because... Um, <laughs> I put the throttle body on backwards. This little doohickey is supposed to be facing the opposite direction. Um, and uh, this bolt actually broke off in there, so I'm gonna have to drill that out. But um, because this is backwards, when I'm at um, wide open throttle, this pulls and it, the spring gets stuck right here and I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, but other than that, we're, we're rocking and rolling. Last time I worked on the fuel system, I ran into a problem trying to fit the fuel rail underneath the charge tube from the turbo to the intake and throttle body. So basically, what was happening was um, the throttle body's off right now, and I'll explain that in a second. Um, there's a very small amount of clearance right here. And as you can see, this is obviously metal, so there's no, it has no give, so if it if something is too high, it simply won't fit. And the problem was that the fuel rail would sit too high, and this would hit, and then it wouldn't connect with the throttle body. And the reason for that was the injectors were too long, and they made the um, <clears throat> they made the fuel rail sit up too high. So what I did was um, I took the injector cups and drilled them out. So here's a cup right here, and they used to have a lip on the inside of them. For um, these cups are actually for a Volkswagen engine, and um, well, this is this is actually a Volkswagen engine. It is a different head design, and these threads are 24 millimeter threads. But um, the the injectors need to sit a little farther down, um, or you need to get you know smaller injectors. But mine are tall, so we uh, drilled out the um, we drilled out the lip that was inside of there with this puppy. And that's the debris that's left behind. There's four of them, so there was a lot of drilling to be done. And then um, I took a small file and filed down the tip of this. It used to be a lot more. Um, it used to stick out a lot more. So I filed that down, and now it sits a little bit lower. So, uh, small problem. Uh, it took some critical thinking to solve, but it's solved. And I wanted to take a video and explain what we did before I put the last one in.